Ladies and gentlemen, once a month, I like to check in with the dark side of TikTok. And that is the next generation, the youth, the younger folk who are coming through and are obviously going to ruin everything for everybody. If you thought the world was bad now, wait until Gen Z gets a hold of the reins. This is the worst of Gen Z TikTok. Let's have a look, shall we? But before we do, actually, my book is on sale right now. Go and get it. Better Man. Um, I really, I'm really, really proud of the book. I know a lot of people are like, why did you write a book? I'll tell you why. Uh, because I am a magnificent creating specialist. And that's basically how I want to be remembered after I die. But I am getting reviews from the book and people are saying, you know what? I didn't know what to expect coming into it, but it's actually really good. That's a genuine review, I promise you. That's Several people have come to me in public and said that. So I'm very, very happy with that. And on top of that, I am touring around Australia right now. Massive shows, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne. I'm filming my special in Sydney at the State Theatre and the Palais Theatre in Melbourne. Grab your tickets immediately at isaacbutterfield.com. Now, let's make some, no, not make fun of people. Let's critique some individuals, shall we? All right, I'm excited. Let's have a, holy sh balls. That's, what the, what in the, oh, good grief. Okay, I don't even know where to begin with this. First of all, that's, you have, no. Nah. Next video, that's different. You've done, so, you've got a goatee, you've got underarm hair, you've got a mustache, you're fucking doing something weird, mate. Something's going on. Something's really going on. And I am not declared professionally to deal with it, and nor are any of us. Okay, so here we have a, uh, a lady, um, large, earthen life, and I think it's a lady. Now, I don't want to guess because it's rude. Anyway, she's talking about a doctor's visit. And throughout this video uh, from an uh, Instagram account called Disturbing Comments, so it's going to be great, uh, are comments from people on that video. Shall we? As a fat person, As I a often fat person, dread medical Reminds appointments. me of Wally. Because of blatant medical fat phobia. <laughs> you should start casket shopping. <laughs> medical fat phobia, you mean reality in medicine? After He's not wrong. After the appointment, I went to... Uh, lose the weight, lose the problem. Probably. The provider blamed everything on my weight and told me that I needed to go on a medication that made me feel really terrible. The this medication was broccoli. Lol. <laughs> this OB appointment that I just went to, I've been dreading. Why did he go to an OBGYN? But it's not funny. The provider was amazing. She asked me what my pronouns are. Who she cares asked, about your pronouns? <laughs> she asked me about my name. My pronouns are five. Fee, five. I didn't even read it correctly. <laughs> Fee, fi, fo, fum. Made me feel super comfortable. I think about my trauma has. <laughs> her pronouns, or his pronouns, or her pronouns are heavy. Heavy. <laughs> about my trauma history so that she knew how. Trauma, the only trauma you guys have. To touch me in ways that were not harmful. Can you imagine the smell on a 90 degree day? Yes, that's why I'm sitting down. Oh. She just was like, great. Pronouns are cheeseburger. Um. And I was crying before getting my- It's okay, go keep your chins up. <laughs> blood drawn because I just never have good experiences. Kudos with to the lab tech who was able to find a vein and draw blood. Experiences with medical, medical providers and so- Dude, your veins contain anything other than sugar and cholesterol. <laughs> Here's a hot tip. If you're going to be one of these people, like anyone who produces content on the internet, don't read the comments. You'll- Fucking hate yourself. Hi, hurry up. Have you ever been paid to be hate crimed? Well, I have. Have you ever Please. been paid to be hate crimed? Okay, please go ahead. Tell us how you were paid to receive a hate crime. Okay, so yesterday I was at work serving this family that was sitting there like the three wise men. And then all of a sudden, out of the mom's mouth, I hear the trigger words non binary and gender fluid. Oop! And quarters in session, and my ears are turned on. Let's do this. Okay, so you heard someone say something that you thought maybe had something to do with you. Okay, let's find out how you turn yourself into a victim here from strangers in a restaurant. So basically, the mom was trying to explain to the dad what it meant to be non binary or gender fluid. That would be an interesting conversation to have to any dad. Um, I would love to be there to listen to a mum try to explain that to a dad. Usually mums are a little bit more forgiving when it comes to ridiculous things and dads are usually the ones that are there going, mate, I've been busting my ass at work all week. 
swinging bloody hammers. You're telling me that someone can be a man in the morning and a woman in the afternoon? How about you just go and get a fucking job? After a few minutes go by, the dad responds in the same way that every guy that looks like him would and says, you know, I understand where they're coming from, but if you are biologically a male or a female, that's what you are. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what do I say to that? And then I'm standing there. Oh no. On display. As a biological woman with terrible posture. So after a little bit of time, I march up to my colleague like I'm about to tattletale on a kid that just stole my toys. And she's like, yeah, I hate to tell you, the entire time they have been referring to you as he or him. Great. Really? Well, that's, I wouldn't have, but okay. So that adds a little bit of insult to injury. And before you ask, no, they didn't tip well. I would have said you're a female, but anyway, whatever. Listen, you can't rely on other people to make you happy. Get over it. Stop being a whiny little bitch. Sorry, I'm very sorry, but stop it. Okay, I just got my very first full facial. Okay. And I feel like my mustache is even more prominent. Oh, I what do you guys even... think? Oh, it's so glowy and beautiful. I love it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, but if your partner, your missus, your wife has a mustache or has underarm hair, it's time to fucking, time to leave them. In fact, I want you to leave them today. I want you to walk up to them and say, here's a shaver, either use it or get the fuck out. Okay, we've got, ah, oh, okay. You're getting a Trump tattoo on your forehead. That looks very painful. Listen, I'm not against Donald Trump. In fact, if I was in America, I'd vote for him. Uh, but I think if you decide that getting someone else's name tattooed on your forehead is the move. You should be locked in a fucking asylum with all of these people in this video. This is what happens when you don't have asylums anymore. Get a fucking asylum. Bring back Shutter Island, please. Okay, I can't use the music because it's copyright music, but the caption is a woman over 85 kilos must be fat. And it's in quotation marks. So someone else has said it. And this is Zoe Towson. Some many women, <laughs> some many women, okay, Zoe, good stuff, get hung up on the number on the scale rather than how they look and feel. And I tell you what, sometimes the number on the scale isn't really accurate to how you are um, when it comes to body fat and muscle, uh, muscle mass and those type of things. So you can be actually quite heavy, uh, but you have a lot of muscle. But you can see that. You can see definition. You can see all that type of shit. If you're just sloppy, then obviously it's major majority of it's fat. But let's find out. Let's have a look what she looks like. She's going to be over 85 kilos. What's she going to weigh? 90 kilos. What's 90 kilos in pounds? So 200 pounds. Call it 200 pounds. That's pretty heavy for a girl. And I imagine she's like, what, under six foot? Is she fat? Okay, let's have a look at her. Yes. A little bit. A little bit chonky. I like not bad, like not bad, like not like you're going to die. But if you're asking the question, are you fat? A little, let's have a look at her Instagram. And I don't mean this with hate at all, Zoe. Like, you're obviously, you're, you're an attractive young woman. Congratulations. Who gives a shit? She's five foot eight and she's 87 kilos there. Yes, yeah, you, you got a little bit of excess body fat, like, like a lot of us, mate. Like I do, currently. Um, but to ask the question, are you fat? You're not, you're not obese. That's what I'll say. You're not obese. I mean, I don't love the BMI calculator, but let's ask that. Let's ask the BMI calculator. Okay, so she's obese. Talk to your GP. Talk to your general physician because uh, you need some help. She's, yeah, she's obese. And that's a, that's, it is what it is. You know, it's, it's a measurement. So you don't look, you don't look bad, Zoe. Not what I'm saying, mate. You're very fashionable. Congratulations. Who gives a shit? But yeah, if you're going to ask questions like that, you're going to get a response you might not like. Okay, dinner for my kids as a 27-year-old mum of three. We've got some big, dirty wieners going in. That's a lot of big, dirty wieners. <laughs> oh my God. Some seasoning, that's nice. Good on your mum. Okay, let's get through. This is a two minute long video. She's cutting up the sausages with scissors that I bet aren't washed. A bit of water in there to cool them off. Oh, she's throwing a bit of cream in. No, it's milk, sorry. Forgive me, those lactose intolerant people out there. A lot of milk. Why didn't you just pour a whole fucking... I thought that was cereal for a second. I guess that's pasta. She's making a sausage, cheesy fucking mac and cheese, fucking something or other. What is this? Even the 
fucking spoon thing or the, the flipper. The flippy thing upsets me in this video. This is what you're feeding to your kids. I mean, it's not... It's not good. I'm not going to try and... I'm not going to try and defend her. What are all these spices? Paprika? Something else? Okay, skip through. What is this? Okay, what do you got now? Some other spices. Fuck, she's throwing some spices in. They're going, Mum, you've been in the kitchen for 45 fucking minutes. Oh, slop it on. Slop me off. Delicious. Ooh. Fuck yeah. Looks like it's already been shat out. And she's got some carrots. At least she's got some carrots going. That's good. Bit of more salt. Fuck yeah. Five-year-old's plate, seven-year-old's plate. Have a good night. Thanks. What the fuck was that? Why are you showing that off? That is something you should be hiding. You should be fucking ashamed of that as a dinner. Okay, it's not... I've seen this person before. She went viral because she slaps the, the plates down. Like, what she's doing right here probably isn't the worst dinner. I mean, there's some sausage in there. I wouldn't give my kids, you know, those type of sausages out of a packet. Maybe if they're just from the butchers, you know, some fresh, decent sausages. But they aren't that. That's some processed shit. Uh, I think we should just limit processed food for kids. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And yes, it does look like either shit or spew is what she's um, given her poor children today. To the Sigmas of Australia, the I say sigma. that this Gouffier government have been capping, not just now, but for a long time. A few of you may remember when they said there'll be no phantom tax under the government I lead. They're capaholics. They're also yapaholics. They yap non-stop about how their cost of living measures are changing lives for all Australians. Just put the fries in the bag, little bro. They tell us that they're locked in on improving the housing situation in this country. They must have brain rot from watching too much Kai Sinat and forgot about their plans. Okay, I don't really know how to react to that. There's a lot of words I didn't understand, but let me just Google this. How much do politicians make in Australia? $217,000 a year, plus superannuation, or like what you get when you retire, of $45,000 a year. Okay, $211,000 for a senator, so that's what she was. Wow, cool. Uh, so let's just remember that a senator getting paid 200k a year is saying this. I say that this goofy air government have been capping. Fucking shut up, do your job. Since discovering my gender expression and how fluid it is, I've come to a realization that if you want to date me, you have to be okay with the fact that you might wake up to a little boyfriend, a little androgynous partner, or a little femme girlfriend. You might have a boyfriend one day and a girlfriend the next day, depending on how I'm feeling and my gender expression. And I love that about me. I love that I'm not being put in a box anymore. I mean, I think I'm the only one that put myself up in boxes, but I'm glad I'm taking myself out of the box. That's and the like end of the video. Allowing myself That's the to end be of the video. We tried to expression. stop it. That's it. All right. This is the problem with the internet. Too many people are getting their voices heard when they should be ignored at all costs. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed our journey through the annals of just pain and misery. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the middle leaves me. Dick stinks. Go and buy my book at isaacbutterfield.com and go and grab some tickets while you're there. Be a good motherfucker. I already said that. Goodbye. See ya. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Bye.